Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to use the Ocean Rivers and Lakes Water plugin in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, and if we have time, maybe we'll even add this beautiful sunset. Let's get started. So we're gonna create a new project and let's use the third person template. So as soon as this opens, we're going to go up to Edit, Plugins, and we're going to search for Water. This plugin's already installed, we just need to enable it, and then we'll have to restart the engine. Okay, cool, so once we've done that, we're going to create a new level. So go File, New Level. And for our purposes, the basic level should be fine. We're going to delete the floor here and add a landscape since that's what the water plugin ties in with. So we'll go to mode and change it to landscape. Before you actually add the landscape, it's super important to check the enable edit layers checkbox here. If you don't, it won't work. So now we'll go ahead and hit create. And now we have our landscape. We go to the Place Actors menu, and if you don't see this, you can go to this drop down and click Place Actors panel. In that, we can search for water. And let's start with the water body ocean, and you'll see it creates this island surrounded by water. And if it's your first time doing it, it's going to take a little while for all the shaders to compile. Now, it's important to note if we go back to select mode that the Ocean has this line going around, and we can change any of these points to change the shape of the island, and we can take each of those points and change the curvature of them as well. And then in addition to that, we can also add additional points. So if we add one over here, and we move this out. And that's how you shape the water around your island. So after that, let's go ahead and add lakes. We're going to add a lake in here, and the same holds true with this. We can reshape it however we want. We can add an additional point and change it to whatever shape we want. So then we can also go ahead and add in a river. And similar idea with river, except functioning over a straight line instead of a, a circular shape. You can change the ends of the river um, and add additional points as well to give it more curvature. That's the basis of that. So let's go ahead and, uh, oops, we also need to add a player start. Also just need to raise that a little bit so our player actually starts above the ground. So let's hit play, and we can see we have the ocean with the waves, and then the river begins here, and the uh, water effects tie together so that there's no differences. If we go underwater, we can see the surface. Uh, you know, everything looks blue and some visual effects, <clears throat> as if we were underwater. And then let's go over and we can check out our lake as well. Kind of the same idea with the lake, uh, as the river ties in, the water effects blend together, and we have the same idea. You can go into the settings for each of these items, so let's go to the lake, and we can change a lot of different things about um, the way the water works, that sort of thing. Um, so let's see. If we increase the height of the waves, of 
or change the way it affects the terrain, those sorts of things. And then, uh, since we do have time, let's go ahead and let's add this beautiful sunset. If you hold Control and L, it'll allow you to change the angle of your lighting. And we can take the sun and put it pretty low in the horizon. Maybe we can find a cool spot with the clouds. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of peeking through the clouds. Let's go ahead and play. And we can see our sun in the horizon looking over our beautiful waves. That's really all that's to it. It's, it's pretty easy. You can uh, move these items up and down a little to change the height um, or how deep they are into the terrain. But that's how you uh, add rivers, lakes, and oceans. Thanks. See you next time.